Hello, in this video, we're going to work out a limit. We have the limit as h approaches zero of one over x plus h, and that's all being squared, minus one over x squared. All of that is being divided by h. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. We're gonna start by multiplying by one in a really clever way. So in order to get rid of x plus h squared, we can multiply by x plus h squared. And in order to get rid of x squared, we can multiply by x squared. So you can't just multiply by that. So what we do is we also divide by it. We have x plus h squared, x squared. So we're basically we're multiplying by one in a super, super clever way. All right, so this is the limit. As h approaches zero, and now we're gonna distribute this piece. So we have x plus h squared times x squared. So when you multiply this by the first term, the x plus h squared cancels. So you're left with x squared minus, and then when you multiply this by the second term, the x squared cancels. So you're left with parentheses x plus h squared. All of that is being divided by, we still have the h, and we still have the x plus h. That's squared, and we have the x squared. Okay, this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero. So this is going to be x squared minus parentheses, and x plus h squared is a formula. You square the first one, so you get x squared. You multiply the x and the h, and you double them, so you get plus 2xh. And then you square the last term, so you get h squared. And all of this is over, we have h, x plus h squared. We wanna leave it just as it is, we don't wanna multiply it out. And then we also have x squared. The next step, we can distribute the minus one that's really there. This is the limit. As h approaches zero of x squared, and minus one times x squared is minus x squared. Minus one times two xh is minus two xh. And minus one times h squared is minus h squared. All of this is being divided by h, parentheses x plus h squared, and then x squared. And look at that, the x squareds cancel. And now we can factor out an h in the numerator so we can get rid of this h on the bottom. This is the limit. As h approaches zero, we can pull out that h in the numerator. And let's see, if we pull out an h, how do we get negative 2xh? Well, we need a negative 2x. And if we pull out an h, how do we get negative h squared? Well, we need a negative h. Boom, and you can check. h times negative 2x is negative 2xh. h times negative h is negative h squared. All of this is being divided by h parentheses x plus h quantity squared x squared cancel really nice this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of negative 2x minus h over and then we just have x plus h quantity squared and then x squared at this point, we can finally plug in h equals zero. When we do that, we drop the limit sign. So we get negative two x minus zero over x plus zero, and that's all squared, and then x squared. This is equal to negative two x over x squared x squared. And so that's equal to negative 2x over x to the fourth, which is the same thing as negative 2 over x cubed, which is the correct answer. So that's how you do it. So it's a pretty interesting problem. And there's a, a shortcut that I want to show you now because it's really cool. So the original question, let me switch to a different color. Let's go to white. The original question was the limit as h approaches 0, because this is really cool. Because this problem is not random, it actually 
has some meaning. So I want to show you what that meaning is. This was the original question. Okay. And there's something in mathematics, in particular in calculus, called the derivative. So the derivative of a function at x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, right? So in this particular example, we're looking at the derivative of a very specific function. We're looking at the derivative of f of x equals 1 over x squared. You see, because if you look at f of x plus h, you're just going to get 1 over x plus h squared. And that's exactly what we have here in the limit. So f of x plus h is 1 over x plus h squared. And then f of x is 1 over x squared. So you're looking at the derivative of 1 over x squared. So if you know some calculus, you can say, hey, how do you find the derivative of 1 over x squared? Well, you start off by taking the x squared and bringing it upstairs. That makes the exponent negative. So you get x to the negative 2. And then to take the derivative, so f prime of x, the rule is really easy. You basically take this number and you bring it down. So you get negative 2. And then you subtract 1 from your exponent. So it's x. So negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So you bring the number down, subtract 1. That's the same thing as negative 2 over x cubed. Kind of cool, right? Which is the answer, right? Which is the, the answer we got, right? So if you knew derivatives um, and you saw this problem, you said, oh, hey, that's the derivative of 1 over x squared uh, in limit form. So that's going to be that. So just a, an interesting shortcut you can take. But if you're seeing this problem as is, like if this is the problem you're looking at, um, you know, whether it be in a book or uh, in a class or, you know, somewhere in the world, then Typically, what they expect you to do is, you know, go through all of the steps. But this is just a, a clever way to do it, which I wanted to share because it's kind of fun. Anyways, I hope you've learned some mathematics in this video. Until next time, good luck and take care.